day, his attorney, attorney Paul Gellerman, we finally got our day for a three panel judge to hear his case. To hear the issues that were raised, it was a lot of trial and errors that the judge allowed happen. I mean, it almost seemed like a cahoots. Everybody was in cahoots because it was a lot of wrongdoing. Nobody applied the law. The prosecutor, my son's lawyer, all he did was show up. He was the most incompetent, ineffective lawyer. Everybody had the right to a effective lawyer. That's your constitutional right. We did not get that. We have it this time around, Attorney Paul Gellerman. But between the judge, David Cashman, the DA, Daniel P. Simmons, and my son's lawyer, Attorney Brent McCoy at the time, they just closed their eyes and just let the courtroom become a, a kangaroo court. It was unbelievable. Uncomfortable. And what was his sentence? 17 and a half to 35 years. The, the trials go for first degree murder uh -huh. and say that it, it was an execution style because it was close range. My son wasn't even at Homewood, no close range to it. They tried to go first degree murder. DA Daniel Fitzsimmons tried to hide the fact that the victim was actually shooting. He had a shootout with some young men at Homewood. I found out going on the streets, because the streets will talk to you. When you're a, a city, urban, black woman, and I'm in Homewood, predominant black area, they, I found out that the victim was shooting. So right before trial, I told my son's lawyer that the victim was shooting. He's like, oh, we never heard nothing about that. But then found out that he really was. So the DA had to sit there and change the whole memento and go for third degree at the last minute. But it's just there's more evidence he was trying to withhold. It just I did my own footwork and leg work in this case. And that's how that came out. How old was Mr. He was 17 at the time. He's 21. He'll be 22 in September. Four and a half years of travesty of just... How you doing? Travesty of just, just railroad.